Hey guys, Anthony here. Another video today, Saturday, December 8th, 2018. In this video today, I want to just talk briefly about these three particular knives here, specifically the new one that I just received, uh, the Cold Steel SRK with uh, SK5 steel. But uh, before I talk about that one, I'll just mention these two other ones because these two right here are my main EDC fixed blade carry knives. So between this one here, which is most of the time on me, right here, and this one here, these are the two I carry most of the time. I have them set up for belt carry. This one is set up for, this is a J-hook, straight up and down carry. And then the knife here is set up on a tech lock, which carries horizontal on my belt. Okay, so this knife here, and both of these have custom made sheaths, Kydex sheaths. So this one here, this is a RAT3 RC3. Very, very popular knife. This particular size, I think, is just a, an all-around great size knife. Um, it fits good in the hand. It's not too big. It's easy to conceal. Uh, I could take it out uh, easy from the sheath with one hand. That's my scanner going off. We have storms headed this way, uh, snowstorms headed this way. And so that's what you just heard in the background. So when I go out, um, I'll put this on my left side, okay, through my belt. And basically, it goes like this. So this goes through my belt on my left towards my left side in the front, clips down, locks into place, and I could draw with my left hand because usually I have my, in my right hand, on my right side, I carry strong side pistol. So that's this knife here. Excellent choice for EDC. The blade is strong. The knife is sharp. It's not gonna break. Uh, the handle's nice and fits really nice in my hand, and I just like the way it's set up. The sheath, uh, the tech lock, I like everything about this, and it's a great EDC uh, knife to carry. The next knife up is a Gerber Prodigy with the Tanto blade. I might have shown this in several videos. Um, this, this Gerber, as, as well as the RAT3 both have the, the pommels that have, uh, you know, protruding pommels. So you can, especially this one, you could definitely fight somebody off with that one, break glass. Same thing with this one. Uh, another reason why I like them. Um, the Gerber has a really grippy handle. It fits perfectly in the hand. This knife is just, uh, I mean, I love this knife. And then mostly in the winter time, I carry this one with me and again on my left side in the sheath it's got a J hook so I could just put my belt through it put this on my left side and it sits up and down uh, this sheath was custom made for this knife you see here and again you could put a J hook you could put a small tech lock you could put a large tech lock it's got options uh, you could put molly straps on here, you know, so you can configure this to go on a, uh, a tack vest or a bug out bag, what have you. Um, excellent sheath. Uh, I'll put the name of the company that makes these sheaths for several good brand name knives. Uh, not expensive. You can get different colors, different uh, patterns, different uh, eyelet colors, all kinds of different things on his site. So... That's the uh, Gerber, Gerber Prodigy with the Tanto blade. Super sharp. 
definitely a great fighting knife. A lot of uh, military guys uh, that I have listened to and heard speak about this knife. Uh, this along with the strong arm, Gerber strong arm, this is the Prodigy and the LMF all get high reviews with our military. And so I, that's why I bought this. And again, this is a great knife for under $50. This one here is a little bit more. But again, um, the SE type knives, you can't go wrong with in, in any size. But this uh, RC3 or RAT3 is just, to me, the one of the best all-around sizes to carry. I really like it. And then last up, put these aside, last up is the uh, Cold Steel SRK, which was recommended to me uh, by several other preppers, military guys, uh, one being Jonathan Hollerman uh, from Grid Down Prepping. Uh, he uh, highly recommends this knife, and again, for under 100, under 50 bucks, let alone under 100 bucks, probably one of the best knives out there that you can carry in a bug out bag in a, in a violent situation. Uh, I've heard stories of the Navy SEALs uh, carrying this type of knife on some missions. Okay. The sheath is surprisingly well made. The Securex sheath, uh, just amazing. Um, you can carry it just the way it is right now. I'm going to configure it a little bit different. I'm going to uh, remove these two screws here and take this back part of the sheath off. You can see that. So this, this piece here and this whole floppy piece would come off. And then I could add a J hook like this on this sheath, or I could add a small or large tech lock uh, to uh, this sheath. And I could use this SRK uh, as I do these other two knives for a carry knife, an EDC carry knife. Now this, um, this knife uh, out of, out of the three that I'm showing you today feels the best in my hand. The, the, the material that they make this, um, this SRK knife with is just outstanding. It's called, um, I have it here on the, on the box. Securex sheath is the name of the sheath, but the actual uh, specs, where is it? Krax, K R A dash E X is the handle. There's the specs on it. Krax is the material, I guess. Um, the blade is unbelievable on this knife. Uh, again, it's made in SK5 steel, which is uh, from what I read, like ten, it's Japanese steel, but it's it's related to 1080 steel, I guess. Super hard, holds an edge, very rugged. Uh, one of the hardest steels, I think, uh, that I researched on the uh, Rockwell scale. Uh, so you're going to get a, a knife that's definitely going to to do the job for you. You've got a little uh, hole here you could put a you know some paracord through and make a little lanyard if you wanted to. But this knife, as far as the way it, it holds in your hand, the way it points, just the blade, the overall style of it, is I just can't say enough about it. I can't wait uh, to start carrying it as my EDC knife, especially in the winter. But I wanted to show it. I'm going to do a full uh, review on it. It's, this sheath off out of the box is fantastic, I believe. I was going to get this guy to make one for it. I still may just to have it, a custom sheath for it. But uh, I can configure this sheath the way it is because it is set up for different ways. I could lash it to a pack. I could um, put one of the attachments on it, the J-hook or the, or the tech lock, and uh, make, it a, uh, make it even better than what it is. Why I like um, to take this off, the dangler portion, is you can carry this uh, like for bushcrafting or camping and stuff like that. But I like to draw my knife quickly with one hand, and this kind of hinders that. Um, this makes it a lot easier, and this makes it a lot easier when it's secured 
it's not flopping around and you can grab it and um, draw it right away okay you need it in an emergency you need it so again guys thank you for watching I wanted to get that out there because we were doing uh, did do some night videos and I asked the best one of the best knives for SHTF for my choice was the Becker BK2 the way I have it set up this one may be a very close second um, definitely up there in the top five or ten knives for for an emergency SHTF civil unrest as well as the Gerber Prodigy and the Rat or the SE3 also a great knife these are going to do you serve you very well thanks for joining me guys questions comments please uh, feel free take care and stay safe and stay ready Anthony signing off